everybody, let's talk about ideals. Yes, I know I have mouse ears. I was trying to do a bow. DictionaryReference.com defines ideal as a standard of perfection or excellence. Okay, so now that we found out what our ideal is, it's a standard of excellence, how are we going to reach this standard? That is today's question. So let's talk about what a standard of excellence is. What exactly do we want to be excellent at? Well, I personally want to be excellent at what I do. What do I do? Just by looking at me, you'd say, I cook, I clean, I teach. But that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the overarching story. I want to be excellent at being who I am. I want to live with excellence. I want to be an excellent human being. And to me, that looks like living with compassion and being selfless and putting the needs of other people above your own. Now, to make this easier for myself all those years ago, when I first started thinking about this, I simply labeled my ideal a princess. But like I've said before, sometimes it's really hard to strive for your ideal. Sometimes you don't want to do it. In the situation that I'm in now, sometimes it's hard to be hopeful and cheerful and... I mean, when I'm just tired and hungry and hurt. Sometimes I just want to throw the whole princess thing out the window, but... But I think it's worth it. I don't want to be the girl who has a sucky life and complains about it all the time. That's not who Sarah is. That's not who I want to be. And I think if everyone had an ideal, an ideal of who they wanted to be, to prepare yourself, it would really make it easier for us all to just have a better world. So now that we've talked a little bit about ideals, that was obviously something that was on my mind, another thing that has been on my mind lately are my options. Option number one, I run away from the school and I never look back. Pros. I'll be free to explore and to make friends and to learn things and let the wind blow through my hair and I won't have to cook or clean for Miss Minchin anymore. And sure, I might be hungry, but that'll be my own fault, not anybody else's. Sorry, that was a little harsh. <laughs> what can I say, I'm hungry. Cones. I might be hungrier than I am now. Heck, I can die. And plus, I don't really know much about street life, do I? Option two, stay at the school forever. Pros! I will be semi-fed, semi-taken care of, and I'll have a semi-career as an assistant and a scrub lord. Is that a, is that a pro? Cons! There's so many. I just don't think it's a good idea. Option number three. Stay at the school until I'm 18, then, then run away and get a job somewhere, probably scrubbing other people's things, and don't starve. That's, um, that's my favorite plan so far. What do you need for a successful life? Have an ideal and really follow that ideal and have a plan that doesn't involve being a scrub lord or starving to death. Take my advice. Go out into the world and then start calling me up once you all are rich and successful and famous and not starving. Because I would, I would love to know if this plan works before I actually use it. Go now, guinea pigs. Be strong.